This is Shane Watson here from PC Sports. I'm joined by Conrad Cummings. How are you, Conrad? Good. Obviously, you've got a big fight, the biggest fight of your career so far this um, Friday, fighting for the RBF Intercontinental title. Once you're held by Eamon O'Kane at middleweight. That's it. Um, yeah. yeah, no, sorry, you're going to a big title, a big opportunity, boxing on Tristan TV and uh, boxing for the ABF on the Continental title. Uh, very, very well. I'm looking forward to the big night. So, obviously, you look like you're well prepared for this fight, and obviously, you would have to be, obviously this is your biggest test, but um, if, you, if you do get past them, obviously you'll be world ranked men as well and you can start looking at them kind of opportunities in their division. Obviously, what a division to be in, number one, uh, first thing. And obviously the hold of the IBF title, if that is the route you're going to go down, is Golovchin. So obviously, um, we'll take about your test, the Friday first. What kind of tests are you expecting from your opponent? A tough test. You know, he's been with some good opponents. He, he, he had his loss to split the season. This is one loss in the last 10 years. It was the guy that Murray had a hard fit with the weekend. Uh, Newell Lolel, I think is his name. Um, um, so he, this guy's a humble, you know. He's experienced. He's got he's got 31 or two fights. You know, he's only really lost once in the last ten years. So he's he's coming here to win. You know, he's coming here causing he's coming here to take the ball from him. But that's not happening. Um, heard heard well mentally, physically, ready. Right? And it's a massive opportunity. And it's an opportunity to grab both hands. Oh, of course, yeah. So obviously you've got good experience. You fought in the states before, so you know what it's like um, doing hostile fights. Obviously, it's not going to be hostile for you this time round. But um, so what does that kind of experience do for you as a fighter? And obviously, it compares you well for the future if you want to be in the big fights. Well, I believe this game's all about experience. You're always learning. And you're, you know, every fight you're in, every day you're in the gym. Uh, so it, that's what's all about. Especially these early stages of my career. I, I, you know, this is only my twelfth fight. We're a big title now. Uh, ABF and I can And you know, I said it too. The fights and amateurs, we just all of experience every day. You know, we fight is, is just another chapter, and uh, it's, this fight is another part of the story. Obviously, you've got um, Carl Frampton around you a lot of the time, and also Barry McGregor and Tremago, and they're very experienced people within boxing, sort of the experience you can't really buy. So, what does that do for you as a fighter as well? So, me, I'm very honoured to be, you know, just sort of part of the team, you know, you know one fighter is sort of better than the other, it's just amazing. Uh, good team. Uh, obviously, Carl is uh, training alongside him. He's, you know, he's pounding the round top 10, two team world champion, 11 legend, and uh, motivates me that one day hopefully I can do the same. Uh, but we're here to take care of uh, Freddie for now, get this belt and move on. Obviously, it's never good to look past your opponents, but if you do get past your test on Friday, which I'm sure you will, um, what's, what's next for you? Is you going to defend your title or are you going to look at other sort of titles uh, to win? Whatever, whatever body lines up for me, whatever, I'm, I'll be bringing them on. You know, after this year, I believe, as he, as he said, the, Stabilizers are off, you know, it's time to go. And, well, but uh, lots of good fights, lots of good experience. Uh, there's another tough fight on Friday. I believe I'll win, I'll move on. And uh, there's, good, there's good fights in, uh, you know, in Ireland, in Britain, there's good fights in Europe, there's good fights everywhere. So we'll see what the best options is, but we'll just get the uh, ticket for Friday. Right? So obviously, like you see, when people will fight um, Golotchin, a lot of people say they go in there with a fear factor already because they obviously speak about his power. I'm assuming you wouldn't go in there with that kind of fear factor, but if you were to go in with Golotchin, what would you say the kind of experience of you? Would you go in there 100% believing you could win? or? You have to go and believe in the game. In every fight, obviously, you fought a lot of the laps. A very, very hard fight. You know, I'm not going to be silly. He's going to start coming in with my statements. Tough fight, obviously, every week. It's a long way away. But uh, I go in the fight. You know, everyone's human being. We've all got two hands. Uh, We've all got a chin. We can all be hurt. So, uh, yeah, we don't know. You have to see and you see how you feel at the time. But uh, I'm always very confident. And, you know, and, uh, but I'm very respectful of everyone's abilities and everyone's power and uh, in this dangerous sport one bunch can change fight for anyone. So uh, just one round at time. Obviously Irish boxing's five in at the moment. Obviously recently we have Katie Taylor coming out as um, a professional fighter now as well. Which, do you think this is important for Irish fighters to keep uh, doing well in the professional ranks and it inspires a lot of younger it's, people? It's, uh, Irish boxing is at an all time high you know, and uh, it's just booming at the minute. And, uh, and you see Katie Taylor turn blue, it's quite interesting. I didn't do the answer, I never thought she would. I um, hope she does well. I've always been a big fan of Katie Taylor. Um, she's phenomenal talent. Um, but yeah, boxing really is booming the moment. And uh, just one fighter is freaking better than the next. And uh, it's a great time to be a good to be part of. Do you think 2017 is going to be a big year for you? And if you do get past your test, as I've previously said, how many times do you want to be out in 2017? As much as possible, every week. <laughs> so, uh, as much as I can. I, this is a tough test, fairly believe I'm going to win, come through it. 
on Tuesday evening. It's going to be a very exciting year. Big fights, big battles, and uh, the big time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for coming to PSP Sports. My first time I've ever interviewed you. Hopefully, a lot more in the future as well. And good luck ahead of Friday. Thank you very much.